in heaven. Let's repeat. Raise up your hand. There's three people. Can you raise up your fingers? Okay. There's the Father God sitting on his throne. There's Jesus Christ who has materials for us. And there's the Holy Spirit. Okay. And the Holy Spirit is not exactly a dove, but he's like a dove because he is pure like a dove. And in heaven, we have Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And on earth, we are on earth. But we cannot see them like how you see us or you see your mommy and daddy. But we can feel them and we can talk to them. And they can talk to us by frequency. Say frequency. Frequency. Okay. The Holy Spirit takes the materials from Jesus and gives it to us by frequency so that our life will be complete and build up like a brick house so that we are empowered by the Holy Spirit and we become strong. So we will be equipped to face things so that if there is a sad day, we won't be as sad. If something uh, happens, we won't have troubles because we know what to do. And we can talk to the Holy Spirit by praying and we can be built up and we can get the materials by reading the word of God. Do you believe that? Do you remember the story about the ant and grasshopper? The ants were looking for food and they're preparing during summer. The grasshopper was asking, what are you doing? How come you're preparing and gathering food? And they said, because it's summer now. In winter time, it's too cold to look for food. So we are taking our time during summer to prepare so that during winter, we don't have to look for food. The grasshopper is like, nah, it's okay. I won't do that. I'll take my time to relax during summer. It's vacation time. So he just relaxed. So the ants kept gathering food, they prepared every day, and they were asking and looking at the grasshopper why he's doing nothing. He's just having fun and swimming every day and sleeping. He's not preparing at all. So when winter came, the ants were inside their home with lots of food, lots of resources, can you see some of them are already sleeping, some are just eating, some are having fun, and they were at peace and protected. They weren't cold because they're inside their home and they have all the food for winter. While the grasshopper was freezing outside because he did not prepare. He was just playing every day and swimming every day and resting every day during summer and we learned in this story that we need to prepare for the future say prepare for the future say i will prepare for the future so just like the story of the three little pigs, can you see that there's three little pigs and they're all preparing for the future? They're all building their house so that when the rain comes, when the storm comes, when it's too hot or when it's too cold, they have a warm place to stay in. They have a house. But we also learned in this story that although they built their own houses with different materials, there's a brick house, there's a hay house, and there's a wood house. Not all materials are strong enough. We can see in this picture that when the bad, big bad wolf came, he blew the hay and wood house down. And the two little pigs ran to the brick house because it was the brick house that's strong. So if we prepare for the future, we cannot just prepare any way we want. We need to choose the right materials to prepare and use 
so that we can be strong in the future. Because let's go back here. The three little pigs were preparing. They're like the ants. They prepared for the storm and for the rain. But they did not know that the hay and wood were weak materials. After the attack of the wolf, the three little pigs learned that the strong material is the brick, right? So they now know that wood and hay are not as strong as the brick. When we learned what is the right material, we should also tell others. So did you know that actually in the end of the three little pigs, there's a version that says, the one that has a brick house help the other two to also make brick houses of their own so they have strong houses too. So what is teacher John saying? When you learn that the word of God and Christ is the right materials to build in our lives, you should also tell others or tell your mommy and daddy or tell your family that the strong material and the right material is the word of God and Jesus Christ. So repeat after teacher John, the word of God is the right material and Jesus Christ is our strong foundation. All right. So you need to choose, we remember before, that Jesus Christ, he has materials, and we can have those materials in our life through frequency. But also in social media, there's good and bad things. So they're a mixture. We don't know which one's right sometimes. We don't know which one's wrong sometimes. And they can also be built in our life through frequency. So you need to choose which one do you want, the materials from Christ, or the materials from social media. Which one do you think is right? Hmm? Which one do you think? Jesus Christ or social media? Okay, so you think. So are you ready for today to learn something new that will help us become stronger like a brick house? All right, let's do what we always do. Let's open up our hearts so that we receive what God wants us to receive, so that we receive the frequency from God. Let's engage so that whatever is in the mind of Christ will also be in our mind. And let's expand our capacity so that God can give us more. Do you remember that Jesus had lots of materials in his life if our capacity is small he cannot give us many things he can maybe give us one or two but because he has lots of things we need to make our lives expanded so that he can give us all and lastly we need to connect so that we receive the frequency of god from heaven and we can also send frequency to God when we pray. Now, as we welcome teacher Joshua, let's behave ourselves because we are part of the army of God. Say, I am part of the army of God. And an army is always behave, okay? Not playing around, going here and there, but attentive and paying attention and listening. So, salute. So, are you ready for today? Yes. Okay, let's all welcome Teacher Joshua. So, hello everybody. And I hope that you are all engaged. Are, is your spirit ready? Remember I told you that it's not about the outside, it's about the inside. Your heart, mind needs to be engaged. Amen? So, let's continue. We have our new topic here called the mind of Christ. Now, why is it the mind of Christ? It is called the mind of Christ because our spirit needs to be built up just like Christ. 
Say, Jesus Christ, repeat after me, Jesus Christ needs to be, needs to be built up in my spirit. So we are building our spirit like Jesus Christ. Did you get that? Amen. Okay, so let's proceed. Let's proceed to the PowerPoint. So, okay, the mind of Christ. We learned that when we are connected to the frequency of the Holy Spirit, the bricks, the word that the Holy Spirit is giving, it's building into our spirit. It's forming in us. It's shaping in us. Okay? So when we are connected, when we allow the Holy Spirit to flow in us, the word, it's building in our spirit. Okay? So I repeat, we're being built when we are connected to the Holy Spirit. When we connect to God, bricks are there to strengthen our spirit. What's strengthening our spirit? The materials, right? What's the material? The word of God. So when we allow the word of God to come in, it's making our spirit stronger and stronger. Okay? But do you know that it's not just the spirit that's affected? It's not just the spirit that's being built up. It's also the mind. When our spirit is being built up, the mind is also affected. The mind is also being built up. So it's not just the spirit that has bricks. It's also the mind. The mind has bricks also so that our mind, the mind is also being built up. Not just our spirit, but also our mind. See? Our mind is, God also wants our mind to make it stronger and stronger and stronger. So what are these bricks? The word of God. So it needs to be strengthened into our mind. Okay? But remember, social media. Now, I take note. Social media, there's the right way and there's the wrong use of social media, the gadgets. This is in the context if we use it in the wrong way. Okay, what are the wrong ways? Because not all of the, what's in the social media has good words. There are sometimes, for example, songs or in videos, there are, there are good videos, there are bad videos. So if you take in bad, vid, bad things, bad words, it can also build into your spirit. So it also builds up. You pick up the frequency of what's in social media. Okay, but here's the thing. Be, just be wise and do not believe things that are not of God. Just be wise that you don't allow any wrong things to be built into your spirit that's coming from social media. Okay, what are these? Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, even Netflix, those things. Okay, the movies that we watch. So it also builds into your spirit if it, if it is good, bad mixture okay so we need to be wise what we're putting into our spirit and it's also like the spirit like us being built up by the word of god it also affects our mind what happens if we keep in wrong things when it when we keep wrong things into our spirit it also affects our mind and do you know what happens if we keep in wrong things for example violence so wrong things, bad words, these things, they're, that's happening into your mind. If you test it out, if you use gadgets, okay? If you watch YouTube, if you watch Facebook or TikTok, don't you recognize, don't you see it to yourself that what you watch, it stays into your mind, right? Now, here's the thing. What if it's wrong? You know what? what if we keep in wrong things, this is what's happening into your mind. It gets worse and worse if we stay in and watching the wrong things. So what, what kind of mind is this? This mind is no longer a strong mind, but a broken mind. Wrong mindset. Because if we watch in the wrong things, our mind becomes wrong too. And eventually our actions become wrong. So that's why you have to be careful when you use the gadgets, when you watch things on YouTube, and etc. And social media, okay? So there are two types of minds. The mind of Christ 
if we build if we build our mind if we allow the holy spirit to build into our spirit the word of god or the destroyed mind if we pick things that's not of god okay what are those the things that are not of god those that are disobedient those who are doing bad those who are not obeying their parents okay so these are the examples and if we keep in watching these things it corrupts our mind now which mind do you choose? The one that is strong and clean or the one that is dirty and destroyed? The one that is clean, of course, because that's the best. That's the mind of Christ. So do you want to know the mind of Christ? Do you want to have the mind of Christ? So, okay, let's find out. So we will see how... Jesus Christ, okay? How do, how do Jesus Christ keep his mind clean, clear, pure? Repeat after me, clean, clear, pure, and uncontaminated. That's a long word. Say uncontaminated. I will explain each of them, okay? So we will see how, how, do, how does Jesus Christ keep his mind healthy and strong? Okay, so every day, every day, when we use social media, there, it's a mix. Sometimes there's good, sometimes they're bad. There are negative thoughts that comes into your mind. Negative thoughts that comes into your mind. For example, if I use, if I watch YouTube, and if I look at some violence, wrong things comes into your mind. Or sometimes we accidentally see it. But Jesus Christ doesn't keep the negative thoughts in his mind. If he accidentally sees things that's wrong, he puts it out. What does he do? I am not allowing this wrong thought to stay into my mind. So what does he, what does he do? He cleans his mind. If he thoughts of a wrong thing, that's a wrong thought. So he removes it. He removes it. He cleans it off. How? How does Jesus Christ cleans it off? By deciding through prayer. Okay? So again, if there's negative thoughts, if you have negative thoughts, for example, what are the negative thoughts? Nightmares. Sometimes you have nightmares, right? Because it's from the videos that you accidentally watch. Maybe it's be a horror movie or a scary movie. So you remove those thoughts. What if there's a wrong, wrong thing like violence? So don't allow these thoughts to stay into your mind. Kick them out by prayer, by deciding. Say, Lord, I'm not allowing this wrong thought to stay into my mind and I'm removing them once and for all, oh God. Lord, take this out and I'm deciding right now for my mind to be clean. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. So what happens? Those wrong thoughts get out. And what will happen? Your mind becomes clean, Okay. How? By prayer, by making a decision. So let's move on. And if you want your mind to be stronger, allow the Lord to build your spirit by the word of God and by the Holy Spirit communicating to you. So your mind becomes stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Because if you keep in the things that are wrong, your mind will not be strong. But if you want it to be strong, then continuously be built up by God. Okay? By the word of God. It's by the word. And the word of God is powerful. It can make us. It can shape us. So we need to be wise what word we are picking. And the best one is the word of God. So that's what makes our mind stronger. Sometimes... We have an unclear mind. What's an unclear mind? An unclear mind is when your mind is fuzzy like this. Uh, I'm not understanding teacher Joshua. You know why you're not understanding teacher Joshua? Because your mind is not clear. So what do you need to do? You need to take out everything that is distracting you. Because we, we are so focused on the things, of, the things that are in the gadgets. Oh, no. You, you keep on remembering the YouTube video that you just watched. So when we have select hours, clear your mind. Clear your mind. I'm not saying the YouTube video is wrong. 
watching YouTube videos is wrong, but we need to be focused. We need to set our mind clear. And that's what Jesus did. He set his mind clear. So he doesn't have a fuzzy mind. He has a clear mind. Okay? So always have a clear mind. How? By removing every wrong thoughts. He always has a clear mind. Keep it clean. Remove every negative thoughts. And always have a clear mind. Okay. We allow God to build in the word in us. Okay? Can you see these bricks? But sometimes, even if we allow the word to be built into our spirit and it comes to our mind, we also allow the wrong things. And this is called mixture. When you keep in the word of God and when you keep the things that is of the social media, the things of the world, that's called mixture. And it stays in your mind. Sometimes you remember select arrows. Sometimes you remember what you just used in your gadget so it's mixed and what is this called is this still clean no it's not clean and you know what happens if your mind is mixture it's in mixture even though god speaks to you when the holy spirit comes to you and speaks to you the holy spirit speaks do you believe that and you can hear his voice through your mind but you cannot hear God if your mind is not clear. I repeat, your mind, if it is not clear and clean, you cannot hear the voice of God. So what, what happens when your mind is in mixture? It's, it becomes fuzzy. When you hear God, it becomes like this. Instead of sounds coming, it becomes like this. Shh, shh, static. It's not clear, the sound. Okay, think about this. When you watch YouTube, when the Wi-Fi is slow, right? It's not playing properly. It slows down. And you're saying, why is it so slow? Shh. Because there's something wrong in the Wi-Fi, in your connectivity. So what do you need to do? Remove everything that distracts you. Remove everything that distracts your mind. So you can be clear in hearing the voice of God. Okay? But first here, do you want to know how to hear the voice of God? So I'll give you a small tip. Think about something. Can you say a word? For example, say the word apple without mentioning it, just in your mind. Don't say it, just keep it in your mind. Say it loud in your mind. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. You didn't say it. You didn't hear it outside, but you heard it inside, right? That's how God speaks. You can hear his voice, but it's not your voice. It's his voice, and it's louder. You can hear it inside. So that's one, that's one way. But you can hear him clearly if your mind is clear. And our, our mind needs to be pure, not mixture. Because even if you allow a small dirt, Maybe I'll allow only a small, tiny bit. If you allow a small, tiny bit, the water will be still dirty. Okay? If you allow a small bit of dirt, even a small bit in your mind, your mind will still be dirty. So don't be a mixture. Don't allow clean water and dirty water. So what to do? Clean off. Every wrong thing, every wrong thought. If your thought says, be angry to your friend, don't. Don't allow that thought. It's not of Christ. It's not from God. For example, if you thought of scary things, is it from God? No. So remove that. Make your mind clean so the Holy Spirit can speak clearly to you. Next, if we are making our mind clean, we should also make our mind to be uncontaminated. We, okay, we learn how to make it clean, clear. Make sure you're, you don't have a fuzzy mind, but you have a clear mind. Pure, no mixture. And we need to make our mind uncontaminated. What does uncontaminated mean? You are not allowing any dirt to come close to your mind. So you're not allowing it to get inside you. So you pray that Lord take over in my mind and so shield my mind so that any wrong thought that comes will not come closer. 
Okay, so what happens when you keep your mind uncontaminated, the wrong thoughts cannot come in. Can you see it? The wrong thoughts cannot come in. Why? Because God is protecting it. You chose it. You decided to be uncontaminated. So you're keeping your mind clean, clear, pure, and uncontaminated. That's the mind of Christ. That's how Jesus Christ keeps his mind always clean and healthy and strong. He's not allowing any wrong thought to come in. So again, what do we do if we have a wrong thought in our mind? We need to decide. We need to pray. Lord, I pray that I will not allow any wrong thought to come inside my mind. If it is a nightmare and you're scared, then pray for that nightmare to be cut off. Okay, remove it. Don't allow any wrong thought. Anything not of God, don't allow it. So make it clean. Be clear. Don't have a mixture. Don't have a fuzzy mind. And keep it uncontaminated so that no dirt, no negative thought will come in. So the question is, okay, before I proceed, also here in this water, make it pure. No mixture. Okay, no mixture. So that's how you keep your mind. Make it clean, clear, pure, and strong. Now it's up to you. Okay, but be wise. Which one do you think is best? The wrong, weak one or the strong, clean one? The strong one. We need to have the mind of Christ because we are being prepared and ready so that we can be strong like Jesus Christ. And if we want to be like Jesus Christ, then we need to also have the mind of Christ. Okay? So clean. Repeat after me. Clean. We need to make our mind clean. Clear. Pure. No mixture. And uncontaminated. Protected, okay? So that's it. So that's our presentation. So did you learn how to keep your mind clean, clear, pure, and uncontaminated? That's how you keep your mind like the mind of Christ. Don't allow any wrong thought, okay? For example, when you watch a movie, horror, okay? Horror movies, okay? It stays into your mind. Scary, right? Is it from God? No, God doesn't fear you. So it's from the devil. So kick it out of your mind. If you're scared, okay, and be wise. Don't watch horror movies. If you know that you're going to be scared, why are you going to watch horror movies? So be wise, okay? So kick it out of your mind. You say, Lord, I pray that I don't allow these wrong thoughts to stay into my mind. And I pray for my mind to be always be clean, to be always be clear, pure, and uncontaminated, like the mind of Christ. So can we all do that? So let's pray. Okay? Prepare your mind, your heart, and let's pray. Lord, we pray, oh God, that our spirit that's being built up, oh God, will be, will be leveled up more, oh God, so that our minds will become the mind of Christ. We pray, oh Lord, that we will further understand this by allowing the Holy Spirit to make us understand more, oh God. We pray to have a clean, clear pure and uncontaminated mind, O oh God. We thank you, O oh Lord, and we allow your word more to build us up so that we become stronger and stronger so that we will always stand strong in times of trouble, O oh God, like Jesus Christ, O oh God. We thank you, O oh Lord, and we pray that we will apply this whenever we, whenever we go, wherever we are, O oh Lord. We keep you strong in our lives, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, and everybody say, Amen. So before we end, Teacher John has an announcement, okay? So let's listen to Teacher John. Hi, everyone. Did you learn something today? Okay. So first of all, Teacher John would like to congratulate you all because your capacity has expanded. Did you know that? Before, in the beginning of our Select Arrow, you can only listen for 15 to 20 minutes. 
But now you can listen up to 30 to 35 minutes. So give yourself a round of applause. It means your capacity has expanded. You can listen to the word of God longer. And before we proceed to our announcement, let's all welcome the presence and acknowledge the presence of Pastora Naomi. Hello, Pastora Naomi. Can you see Pastora no Naomi? All right. Okay. So our announcement is this. Today is our session 11, and next week will be our session 12. It means we are doing select arrows for about three months already. So that's a long time. And we would like to award all the arrows who are always present. Okay? So everyone who's always attending select arrows and are on time, next week we will give you certificates. All right? Do you know what's a certificate? It's... It's a paper you can print that has your name on it that says you attended Select Arrows and you're always present. But it's okay if you're not always present. The most important part is you learned and listened to the Word of God and you built in your life. So congratulations, everyone. Your capacity is expanded. So can you say, my capacity? My capacity is expanded is expanded so before we say goodbye remember teacher joshua's lesson to keep your minds clean clear pure and uncontaminated have a great weekend guys thank you so much and stay strong okay and also the ones who are behaved also the ones who are behaved will also be awarded Again, I repeat, also those who are behaved and quiet for behaving well will also be awarded, all right? So be encouraged well, be encouraged to be more behaved, okay? So you'll get an award. So that's it. Thank you, and God bless. Bye.